Our Champions League group is hot and up. We've continued a decent run of form in Serie A. Let's go play Olympic Marseille away from home and Inter Milan away from home. You've only missed a couple of games since the last time we met, the first of which was a one all home draw against Manchester City. I was absolutely thrilled with this result. Uh, Thiago Almada put us in front two minutes in, the equalised 30 minutes in. And uh, a disappointing performance from our attackers, but a pretty even game and a point was probably worth it for both teams. And in the only other game was a 2-1 home win against Torino. We didn't play that well in this one. Belotti had put them in front, tag Seth equalised, and then it took the 72nd minute for us to get in from through Moyes Keane. But uh, another win in the league, that's all you can ask for. And that sees the Serie A table looking like this. We sit in second place, two points behind Inter Milan, who have climbed to the top. UV have dropped a few points in the past couple of games, so they have dropped a fourth. But um, it's still very, very tight at the top. And in our Champions League group, Man City beat Porto in the early game. So they now sit top with two draws and one win. Uh, whoever wins this game between us and Marseille will end up being top unless it's a draw. In which case, there'll be three teams on five points. And I'll be getting nervous. We have no fresh injury concerns going into today's games. So we're going full strength. Sport Yellow and Gold, Giglione, Enel, David Carmo, Liberato in defence. Tag Seth, Melodoni and Alcaraz in the midfield with Hlozek, Almada and Lazaro leading the line, even though Moise Keane has been superb. Hlozek, not playing that well this season. I'm uh, I'm getting the feeling that maybe he got a little bit unsettled when the likes of Juventus and stuff were coming in for him. Any amazing names that I recognise out of the um, Marseille side? Doesn't look like any major new signings for them. They're just having a pretty good run of things, so let's get into the game. And if we win this, we take control of the group a little bit, but we'll... <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We are away from home. First highlight of the game is a corner for Marcia. Two minutes in, Lopez plays it in. And, well, I was ready to say the words that Marcia have scored. Thankfully, they didn't. We're going to go on cautious. <laughs> it was only one corner, one attack, but I'm already panicking. Uh, let's see how the rest of this first half goes. After that initial highlight, it's been a quiet opening half hour. We do have ourselves the second highlight of the game. And it's Marcia once again on the attack. Benedetto receives the ball down this left-hand side. He drives inside. He's got a lot of options. Jeremy Borga, one of them. And that is a sensational finish. His third goal of the season puts Marcia 1-0 up. Can we get ourselves a goal back before half-time? Carmo with a free kick deep in our own half. Um, just don't lose it, boys. Otherwise, we'll be absolutely screwed. Liberato plays it down the line for Lazaro, who's in behind. Mandanda with an absolute worldy save. Should we talk about the corner? Is it going to lead anything? Almada, Alcaraz heads it. Oh, I thought Lazaro was going to maybe nod that on. And that is it for the first half. Olympic Marcia 1, Genoa 0. Disappointing performance from us so far. Can we turn it around in the second half? Again, our front three not having the greatest of games. They're obviously not getting the service either from the midfield or the wing backs. So um, a little bit disappointing. 6.2 for Lazaro. I think we'll, with only 20 minutes to go in the first highlight of the second half, Probably is going to be looking to get Moyes Keane on for Lazaro at some point. But we'll see what happens with this one. Strootman with the ball for Marcia. They've got a lot of men sitting on that line. And Jeremy Borg is one of them. He's in behind again. He's offside. Ref, come on, referee. Wrap this up. We will make that change. We'll get um, Moyes Keane on for Lazaro. Hoping that he can make some magic. He's been fantastic recently. <laughs> I really didn't want him to be because uh, Lazaro needs the uh, the game time as well. To be honest with you lads, I don't think we deserve a point from today's game with 15 minutes to go. Marseille have very much been in control, but they come down the left-hand side now, we get the block in. I'm not sure if this is because I was making tactical changes or not, but uh, hopefully it doesn't lead to anything. And it doesn't. Corner for us, Tagseth plays it short at Almada. He whips it in. Who's there? No one. It's going to be a counter-attack and opportunity for Marseille as De Boer brings a forward down the right-hand side. Liberato, don't, don't. Don't do this, referee. It was an innocent challenge. He's not... Oh, it's a straight red card. Why? That wasn't a straight red card offence. We're going to take off Almada. Um, or do we have... Uh, we have Ian Munoz on the bench. We'll bring him on. And uh, well, five minutes to go. We'll go off attacking. Absolutely pointless. We'll go to balance. We'll just not... Hope to not get uh, destroyed by them. And we get defeated. But it's not too bad. The head-to-head -head record, if we can get a win against them at home, will hopefully go in our favour if it can be a little bit more convincing than theirs. But looking at the Champions League group now, 
Marseille sit top. Porto with zero points. We are in third on four points. And Man City in second place on five points. And just a nice little easy challenge after that game. Inter Milan finished sitting top. We got them away from home. We'll bounce back, won't we? Couple of changes going in the style uh, the starting eleven for today's game against Inter Milan. Sardella comes in at right back. Giglione is performing pretty well there, but uh, I noticed he was really, really struggling in terms of his fitness towards the back end of the last game. Moist Keen returns to the starting eleven for Lazaro. And uh, I'm thinking I want to drop one of the central midfielders, probably Alcaraz, having the most disappointing of the season so far compared to last season anyway. Uh, we'll put Melagioni in the central midfield tap and roll. Put Tag Seth in beside Melagioni in the central midfield and bring Thomas Belmont into the defensive midfield role. Into Milan away from home, it's not going to be easy. I wouldn't be surprised at a pretty convincing defeat here. They've started the season fantastically. Uh, our players are a little bit deflated after that Marcia defeat. We'll wait and see what happens. Let's kick off and see how we get on at the San Siro. One minute in, you never like to see it a throw in for in a Milan Mendes plays it in Lukaku can't quite get to it Thiago Almada clears and maybe just maybe it'll be the counter attack of dreams Hlozek feeds it through to Moise Keane the tackle isn't good enough and Keane's in behind and Mo Moise Keane needs to start every game what am I going to Hlozek what's happened to Hlozek he's just not playing as well I know he's just got technically got the assist there but um, Moise Keane's really stepped up in terms of the goals this season and we have a highlight straight from kickoff you would imagine in a Milan are going to try and get straight back into this Asensio coming down the right hand side getting past Sardelli whips it in Liberato gets it clear and uh, we're not the first men of the ball it's whipped back in spot yellow claims it big punt over the top Almada brings it down Adam Plozek in behind oh he, he would have buried that 10 times over last season what's happened to him corner for us Melagioni he whips it in I, I told him to play it short why is he disobeying my instructions if we end up conceding from this, Liber oh, it's not a good enough challenge. Lozano doesn't keep it in. Thank God for that. Another highlight now. Mendes coming down the left-hand side, feeding it to Asensio for Inter Milan. Can we get the challenge in now? That's the stuff. Thomas Belmont. Come on, lad. Adam Hlozek down the right-hand side. You've got the pace. You can get past this man. He gets to the byline, cuts inside, stops, and gets past the... Um, what, what has he done there? I have no idea. But he shouldn't have shot whatever he did. Throw in deep. In our half, Mendes is the man to take it. Oh, defending is oh the defending is awful. It is disgusting. <laughs> we need to see the replay on this one. I need to know who that was who completely whiffs on the header. I think it's Anel. It goes for I the pair of them, Anel and Belmont, absolutely dreadful. One one, and that is a defensive calamity. Going into the first half, I would have taken a one one at half time. Are we going to get there though? Three minutes to go. And Inter Milan are on the attack with Asensio. He cuts inside, goes for goal, the shot's blocked, and Thiago. Is that Almada? Who is it? It is Almada. Absolute laziness not going for that ball. Liberato clears. Moise Keane's brought down, but Melagioni keeps the ball. Almada's going to pick it up now. He's got Adam Hlozek there. He feeds it through to him on this right-hand side. Can he bury it? What a challenge that is. I think it's Mendes again. Inter Milan 1, Genoa 1, half time. I'm relatively content with that, particularly with the opportunities that we did end up creating, but... Inter Milan are definitely in this game, kicking off for the second half. First highlight comes 60 minutes in. Uh, our throwing is cleared easily by Inter Milan. And uh, you'd imagine they're going to have a decent attack from this Asensio. He's a, he, he has been pretty good so far for Inter Milan this game. He whips it in. Sport yellow with the dodgiest of dodgy saves. And then he takes himself out on the post. I mean, what the hell is going on right now? Corners whipped in. Sport yellow claims this one. 25 minutes to go. Inter Milan on the attack once again. Asensio whips it in. Lozano is there. Manages to uh, get his head on target. But that wasn't the highlight. Sport Yellow oh, just didn't give the ball away like that. Barella's in behind. He hits the post. Sardella clears. We've gone counter. We'd, we want to stop this right now. Both of our central midfielders are absolutely knackered. We'll probably get them both off. Tegseth can come off for Carlos Alcaraz. And Patrick Berg can come on. For Filippo Melagioni. Adam Plozek's coming off. I'm bringing on Lazaro. He has missed a good couple of opportunities for us this game. And it's unfortunate. Moise Keane's the, Moise Keane's the new favourite. And the second half. Wimpers out. Inter Milan 1. Genoa 1. I would have absolutely bit your hand off. For that at the beginning of the game. So I'll take it. Especially after that Marcia defeat. 
So the Serie A table, we remain in second place after that draw, although we can be leapfrogged by both Juventus and Atlanta if they win their games in hand. Inter Milan remain top, remain top two points ahead of us. In terms of the next episode, then boys, we know it's going to be our final group game in the Champions League against Manchester City. Olympic Marseille and Porto in between are going to be absolutely huge games to determine whether we are going to be going to the last stages of the Champions League or dropping down in the Europa League. I, I wouldn't be too disappointed by that, to be quite honest with you. The, the board, I think they just expect us to be competitive. So they don't expect anything from it. So they should be absolutely thrilled with how things are going so far. In terms of our boys then, I do want to quickly check on the boys who are out on loan. We'll just keep tabs on these. Jesper Larsson is out on loan at Lecce, getting plenty of game time. Luca Marafiotti is not getting enough game time for me. He's probably end up going to be recalled if Palermo don't up the game. He's in Series C as well, so he should be starting every game, but he's only started four games this season. Yeah, the rest of them seem to be getting plenty of game time, so you can't complain too much with that. Anyway, lads, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like, and if you are enjoying the content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, tight easy.